I am only one, but still I am one. I cannot do everything, but I can still do something. And because I cannot do everything, I will not refuse to do the something that I can do. Howdy, my name is Kareen from Calgary, and this is my entry into the whoinspiresyou.ca video essay contest sponsored by Tricycling Low. Every year, 50,000 people from around the world gather in a northern Nevada desert to build Black Rock City, and with it, the Burning Man social experiment is born. The communal goal is to survive in intense weather in a beautiful and fun way. The principle of Burning Man is simple. Everyone is welcome to come, find out who they are, and express themselves fully in a way that enriches the lives of the community. Burners contribute to society by re-engineering wind-ravaged shelters, entertaining through performance and art, refilling water bottles for passers-by, cooking dinner for strangers, accessorizing clothing, and giving hooks. Black Rock City has no currency or government and operates as a gift economy and duocracy and through the communal efforts begins to gel into the most supportive, accepting and loving environment that I have ever experienced. Then a week after it all began, the symbol of the community is burnt and Black Rock City is torn down without a trace. For me, Burning Man is a life training. What would life be like if I lived Burning Man principles in my everyday life? What if I showed up as who I am and gave my deepest gifts unselfishly to anyone that needed them? Following Peru's disaster, multiple relief organizations responded, including Burning Man participants with Burners Without Borders. Today, many of those organizations have left, despite the fact many Peruvians are still living in temporary shelters and children do not have schools to attend. 54% of Peruvians live below the poverty line. A child with a quality education has the best chance of breaking out of the poverty cycle. This year, I am headed to Peru to help build permanent housing and schools to give children the best foundations for a healthy future. The $10,000 prize money from this contest will pay for the materials to construct one room of a Peru school. Please help me provide the basic necessities of life to devastated Peruvian children. I need your vote. Muchas gracias. Thank you.